have observed her down through the years. The H in Helen's name stands for her love for humanity. The E is the endless energy she exhibits in dealing with her many community involvements. The L is the love she has for the children of Cotter and the children of Detroit. E is always trying to empower the children without black history. N, not showing nepotism and working with the children of the choir. P is the patience and pride she has for her choir members. M is the motivational technique she used in molding those children who sometimes could not carry a tune. O, the openness she has when sharing with the children. O, the optimism she exhibits when preparing for the concerts. Aura is the rapport she develops with the children of the choir. And E, for having energized and encouraged so many young people during the past 55 years. It is with great pleasure that I present to you, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Helen P. Moore, one two pound Helen. Somebody comes in and somebody's real rich and they get ready to read the wheel. Okay, that's what we're going to do today. You know, some, you were specially invited. You didn't know that. I didn't tell Katie, I didn't tell the committee members exactly what I wanted you here for. Let me say this to you. This is not a tribute to Helen Moore. To God we be the glory. This is a tribute to you. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> because, let me say this to you, it's because of you, the people in this room that have been selected to be here, because I'm telling you, you get to pack Cobo Hall, you couldn't be came. but you've been selected. And the reason you've been selected is because sometime down through the years, you have contributed to these children's lives and you didn't even know it. When I came to you, you didn't even question me. I could have been the biggest crook in the world, taking all this money, because one time we, we raised $14,000 to go to Disney World for all the kids for almost a week. They cut up down there too, but uh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna tell you about that. But anyway, after that, after we had court with them, we decided that and we're going court all night, we wouldn't let them go to sleep. We decided that we're going to take our children on many journeys that they would never experience in our community, in our church, because many of them do not have the money and the funds. But you in this room had such faith that you made sure that everything you talked about, I swear, I went through my closets upstairs, attic, this, this is nothing. Compa I don't know, Katie, why y'all didn't put that big envelope full of the presidents and everything. I don't even know how I did all this. God be the glory. You didn't have no room, okay. <laughs> but I, what I'm saying to you is this. Because of the faith that you had in me, you actually played a big part in these children's lives. You see them as today, you saw them. I wasn't supposed to direct, I don't know what happened. But anyway, you saw the children and they're sitting here. Wonderful, wonderful children. I'm looking at some of my ch children, Janice and Judy and your mama and all Jean and all the whole family. Onita, Sandra, still in my heart and all the choir members that passed on and they passed over. We've had a long journey. There's only one pianist that's not here. And it was Wanda Davis, and her husband killed her. These are the kind of things that we've gone through down through the year. Sitting in this audience are people who raise thousands of dollars. Miss Lee, Miss Payne, you were the one that, and your mother, who raised the most money that the choir ever had for years and years. George, are you still here? I know you're tired of it. George, why stand up, George. 
That's our lawyer. That's the one. That's the one that keeps the vote no takes over used for the, for our case, and I was the plaintiff, Helen Moore. I guess that case is really out there now. Helen Moore, that was my case. That's right. And and Joanne helped us get it all together. I'm calling out some names, yeah. but the real names I want to call out are those who were in the church, and especially those who thought enough of our children to show just, I just don't know what the word is for the love that you've shown down through the years. Murray family, Reverend Murray's family is here. Board members are here. Annie, you still back there? You didn't get tired? I'm going to start with my family. Now, all of y'all extended family that came to the hospital when they were operating on my tumor, don't stand. Because that, you are a family, but that's the people over here that I have blood relationship with, okay? With my family, please stand. Amen. All my family, please stand. <laughs> Some of you don't know my son, Carl, he's right there. My brother just spoke my cousins from Grand Rapids, my son, Chris, my granddaughter, Chrissy, my daughter-in-law, we don't do in-laws, we just daughters, Tina, and CJ that plays the drums sometime at church. I want to thank you all because it's because of you that I'm who I am. And if it wasn't for you when the times were tough, I should not even be here today, because I should have died a long time ago, some of the things we've been through. And I don't have to tell everybody our, our business, okay? So thank you. Thank you. You've been some good children. Now, I'm going down the list. All the folks that went to school with me, all that got gray hair and just one that died. Stand up. I want to see y'all. Stand up. Went to school with me. And Mary, you should have stood up there because their family, their cousins too. All right. Keep the vote no takeover. Keep standing. Keep the vote no takeover. Everybody keep the vote no takeover. There we are. Secretary sending them back. And there's the people that get out there on the lines and fight for you and march and get beat up sometime and dragged out of meetings. But that's all right. We here. Thank you. Keep the vote. Black parents for quality education. Some of you just keep standing. Some of us in the same group. All the way from the... Where is... Did she leave? Jeanette Browner? Did you leave? Okay, Jeanette. Now, you know what we went through with Title I and all the still there. It's a wonder we alive now. So thank you. And all the people that work for the state of Michigan with me when I was doing those guardianship cases. Honey, y'all stand up, okay? <laughs> Jeanette, y'all stand up. Listen, and Renee, that's right. How can I remember all these names? I'm not going to do a Perry thing. Oops. I think I still got my mind together. <laughs> remember all of you. Everybody at our church, you all have been a godsend to me. I couldn't have done it without you. Faye, all of y'all went to the hospital with me, took me every, what was we going, every day to get tests and everything. Oh, Lord, come by my house, pick me up, take me to the hospital. I'm not supposed to be here. That was 11 and a half years ago. Everybody that had the tumors, like I have, is dead. My doctor told me that. I thought she was going to be here. Joanne, you scared me to death when I was sitting, when I was laying in the hospital bed and I thought I was dead. And I looked over in the corner and Joanne was reading the Bible. And I said, Lord, you done come to get me. And, and Joanne said, go back to sleep, honey. Go back to sleep. Alicia Bob and the whole gang, there was a hundred people there and the doctors were saying, where did all these people come from? They said, we are cousin, we are sister, we are brother, we everything. And they stayed with me the whole nine hours of surgery. My son over there, Carl, is electrician. I come from home from the hospital and he puts a buzzard next to my bed. <laughs> They wouldn't let me do anything. I was supposed to be moving around. They wouldn't even let me move. I ended up going back to the hospital with a gimbal lizard because y'all wouldn't let me move in the bed. I'll forgive you. I'll forgive you. Now, all of my children, 
all of my children in the choir. That was not all of them. I don't know what y'all gonna do, but y'all better not let me down now. You gotta keep on coming, you gotta keep rehearsing, and you all gotta hold the kids up. You got to keep going. Because if we stop now, all my living has been in vain. So y'all remember that, and I'm gonna spank some of you, and don't tell me what you told me when I got ready to spank some of you said. Ms. Moore, you can't spank us because you're a social worker. See, I know y'all keep up with everything I do. They told me I couldn't spank them. I had never spanked because I'm a social worker. Onita, Onita, Lord have mercy. I'm so glad to see you. First, first pianist. And look at what she, she's known all over the world. Camilla, the filling some steps. You see your Onita? And some of the rest of Michaela and some of the rest of you that did not sing. It's some talent in this church. It's some talent in this church. Renee, you know, when I look at the movie, movies at Nina's wedding, I see your wonderful mother always looking at her and how beautiful she was. I have not forgotten. All of you. George, I don't see Chair McPhail, but I know and I want to thank you all for the wonderful She's a DC. She sends her love. She sends her love. She's a DC. We, well, all right, we have been close, all of us, for years. Sometimes we, we have arguments. Norma, you know that. Uh, yeah, all right. Sharon, Sharon, Mildred, and some of us, we, we don't agree all the time, but you, God knows I love you all. And Jimmy Womack just left here in Coleman. These are people sometimes we disagree. I have had some knocked down, dragged out yes, yes, with yes. these people. But you know what? We still love each other. Yes. And that's my message to all of you. We must continue to love each other. That's right. Mr. Hill, I see you coming in on the board for Dexter Elmhurst. How many Dexter Elmhurst people are here? Mike, you still here? All right. These are people, Joanne, helped us keep the center open. What is it that we have in common? It's the children. Everybody in this room. It's the children. And as long as we keep those connections going, we will be able to lift our children up as we have seen down through the years. And they will make us proud. You better believe it. Now the committee that put this together, Yvonne, you know I love you. I tell you you're an angel. This is this is a good person here. I can't be like her, because I cuss and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> this woman is just an angel. She's always to her. Katie, if it wasn't for you, I don't know how we would have put this together, Ms. Trauman. And they say we don't work together in Detroit Public Schools. They didn't know that right in the midst of us, Muriel was administrators, teachers, all in the church. That Helen Moore is cussing them out and doing all this stuff. But we were working together, and we will continue to do that. Can't call all your names, but you better believe the African proverb. As long as I remember your name, you will always live even when you pass over beyond into the other world. You will always live in my heart. Thank you for everything, and God bless all of you.